All right, gang, we're back for another uh, WWE Weekend re Review. Weekending August 16th, 2024. I will start off Raw. I was on uh, August 12th, 2024. Um, it's Austin, Texas. I'm going to start out with uh, Ray Ripley comes to the ring, cuts a promo. And Liv Morgan and Dom show up in the crowd. And Rhea keeps talking long enough. So that Damian Priest can find them. The, the, the whole back and forth sucked. I don't feel like... I, I don't know. They're not... Neither one of them is great on the mic. Or good on the mic. Uh, then Dom's fighting with Damian Priest. And then Carlito comes out. And he dishes Carlito off. And well, they're wrestling each other now. So... Or that was the plan anyway. And I guess this match started now. Um... Damian Priest with the win. Um, there's a scuffle or the, the judgment try to try to interfere and this and that. And then Finn comes and he's attacking Damian Priest. And then there's more horror shit. And then he has pre. He looks like he's gonna have pre. Her and mommy and Priest look like they got Finn. And then he gets the fuck out of Dodge and uh, JD McDonough catches a super kick to the teeth. Four Meltzers. Four. Match was okay. Number one contender, women's tag team match for the tag team titles. Kyrie Sane and EO Sky versus Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler. Uh, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn are at ringside. One of them catches a, I think, EO Sky super kicks one accidentally. And then they end up attacking both of the teams and it gets thrown out. I'm pretty sure we they said by the end of the show it was going to be a triple threat match. Hard to believe. Next week for the 18 title. Randy Wharton comes to the ring. He cuts a promo. And then Gunther comes out and interrupts. And then Gunther tells him how he's a screw up. And this and that. His grandfather was a screw up. And his dad was a screw up. And long story short. And then Drew McIntyre interrupts. Is about there about to be face to face. And then. CM Punk attacks him, and then and while all this is going on, Randy hits Gunther with a RKO. Then Drew gets the better of CM Punk, and he's about to whip him with his belt, and then CM Punk gets the belt off of him, and then whips the shit out of him, and then Drew runs off. Sheamus has a backstage interview. Um, Louis Kaiser interrupts, and then Pete Dunne attacks Sheamus from behind and hits him with the shillelagh a shit ton, and then... That's about the gist of that. Then we got CM Punk backstage interview. Mark Henry and his son are in the crowd. He has one of the... Mark Henry's son has... Uh, I believe it was Jacob Henry has uh, one of them next in line contracts. Then we have The Miz versus Bronson Reed. Of course, Bronson Reed wins. I mean... It's, we're going to give him a push. Four Meltzers! I don't. I think he gave. He gives the mids way too much here. I think they should have let him beat his ass like and quick. And then our truth ends up catching a bunch of tsunami splashes. And New Judgment Day has a pre-recorded um, promo. And then we got two out of three falls for the Intercontinental Title. See or. Ron Breaker defends against Sami Zayn. Four Meltzers. Um, finish was predictable. Ron Breaker wins. Like I seen it coming. And that's about it for Raw. Next we have NXT. Uh, Ethan Page takes, interrupts the interview and grabs the mic and goes to the ring. Tells everybody how it's his show. He's the NXT champion. Joe Henry comes out, interrupts him. His music comes on, and he interrupts Ethan Page. Um, and then as he's talking, Wesley comes in and super kicks Joe Henry. Then we have a bunch of girls and Ava Rain in the back um, with a, one of them bingo roller things. And we have a, we're have an eliminator next week to go on an eliminator. And whoever wins gets a title match against Roxanne Perez at NXT No Mercy. I don't remember who the girls were. I know Sal Ruka was one of the girls that got picked. I don't remember the rest of it. 
Heritage Cup match. Tony D'Angelo defends against Charlie Dempsey. And Charlie Dempsey is your new Heritage Cup champion. Four Meltzers. Um, Wesley comes to the ring, um, cuts a promo, talks about why he did what he did. Pretty good promo. Then uh, Pete Dunn comes down and interrupts. Joe Henry comes down and they all get into a brawl. Long story short, they're going to pull them apart and we're going to have a triple threat match. I think next week. Or is it number? No, I think it's next week. The term number one contender for the NXT title, which I think it should be Pete Dunn. Then we have NXT North American title. Obafemi defends against Otis. Five Meltzers. Obafemi wins, of course. I wasn't expecting Otis win the NXT North American title, but whatever. For the NXT Tag Team titles, Axiom and Nathan Frazier defend against Chase U, Andre Chase, and Ridge Holland. And we have new NXT Tag Team Champions, uh, Andre Chase and Ridge Holland. Six Meltzers. Six. Pretty good show, NXT. This week. And we have SmackDown. That's on uh, August 16th, 2024. Coming from Austin, Texas. And we open up with Nia Celebration from Tiffany Stratton. And uh, Pretty Deadly are there. And they sing a song from Pretty Deadly, the musical. And then we're going to see... And then as this is all going on and Nia is talking... All of a sudden, Mi Chin shows up with a kendo stick and starts wearing everybody out. Especially pretty deadly. Andrade versus Carmelo Hayes. Excellent match. 22 Meltzers! 22! Um, Carmelo Hayes wins this one. And then he keeps annoying Andrade and they end up fighting. They like start fist fighting after the match. So this is going to get better. Naomi versus Blair Davenport. Um, this match kind of sucked. Naomi does hit her with the chon splitter. Which, excellent. Too long for a boring match. One Meltzer. Um, Blair Davenport wins. We got an Immemorium for Afa. Kevin Owens versus Grayson Waller. Uh, what I expected. Kevin Owens wins. Four Meltzers. Four. Um, they they found it out on under grabs chairs. Cody comes down, helps. Um, then we get LA Knight. He comes to the stage, talks shit on Santos Escobar. Um, and then backstage, Nia Jax jumps each in from behind. The number one contenders for the, the world tag team titles. Street Profits versus DIY. Five Meltzers. Street Profits with the win. Thought that would be a little better than what it was, really. Solo and Tama Tama come down to the ring. Solo runs his mouth. And Roman Reigns comes down. Roman Reigns beats these two idiots up. He reclaims the Ulafala. And then Jacob Fatu comes down and catches him from behind and beats him up. And then they beat up Roman, powerbomb him through a table and all that happy horror shit. Um, that's about it. I didn't think we were going to do the Jacob Fatu thing already, but that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. All right, gang. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when we're posting. And as always, thanks for watching Big T's Wrestling Reviews, Recaps, and what have you. And we will see you next time.